this video we will be painting clouds with a silver lining. Here's the brushes we'll be using today. This is a Langnickel Royal Sable, the number 44. It's about an inch wide. Sable comes from the hair of a weasel. By the way, animals are not destroyed in order to make paint brushes. Their hairs are a byproduct of the fur industry. The other brush I'll be using is a number 12 Langnickel Royal Sable. It's about 3 eighths of an inch wide. Okay, let's look at our palette. We'll be using titanium white, ultramarine blue, permanent red medium, and cad lemon yellow. I'll be using a gray today, which is a combination of white and ivory black. And then this is my medium. You can open up our medium video to learn how to make this paint thinner. I'll take my gray color and rough in a box canyon. Then we'll be looking up at the clouds from there. This part doesn't matter much. I'm just giving us a little bit of a foreground to lay in the clouds. Now I'll put a little red in that. Play around with these rocks a little bit. Like I said, they don't matter much. I just want to lay in some cliffs here so we can get a perspective of the sky. Now I mix uh, ultramarine blue and some of my gray, my red, permanent red medium. Make a very light gray. This will be the clouds and then we'll put the silver lining around the edge of them. Man, those rocks are ugly. I'll fix them here in a minute. I'm just going to go ahead and work on the sky. Let me just slam something in here. Okay, now I mix my sky color, which is ultramarine blue, titanium white, a little red and yellow to neutralize it. Don't want your sky too dark. Let me just cut this in around this edge of these rocks. I don't want the blue to touch the red violet. That's where my silver lining is going to be. So I don't want to pollute that silver lining area. Now I'll take some titanium white and cad lemon yellow. Now I place that color in the area that doesn't have any paint. Again, I'm careful not to pollute my paintbrush with the other colors. Now I'll merge the white into the blue and also merge it into the clouds. I wipe my brush quite often when I'm doing this. Start to begin to see our silver lining develop. This is of course with the sun behind the clouds and shining through the clouds. Now when the sun shines through the clouds, as you get to the edge of the clouds, the color will get warmer. So I'm going to place a value that's a little higher, which means lighter, and a little warmer, which means I have a little red in it. So this value will go right on the edge of the silver lining. You can see I'm putting it in here, and the value is very close, as you can see. Put a little more of the silver lining in here and whisk my brush around. Be careful again not to pollute your white.
just take a color here and just fix these rocks. They're drawing too much attention to themselves. Okay, well we could call this finished now. Maybe I'll play with it a little here. So how to paint clouds with a silver lining. We have other cloud videos, so check out our other cloud videos for painting different kinds of clouds. Okay, that about wraps it up. Painting clouds with a silver lining.